In this video, we're going to talk about setting goals. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to let you know about my free mini trading course. It's 13 videos on 10 different topics. You're going to learn technical analysis, risk management, and psychology. And the main focus of the course is to show you why you're not winning and how you can actually turn those results around. So if you want to join that, head over to the link in the description after this video. That is totally free and it's going to give you a lot of value. So let's get into the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanted to go over a psychological topic as opposed to the usual chart work that we're normally doing and talk about the importance of setting goals and what the right goals to set really are. Now, goals can either be really good or really bad. You might think that setting a goal is always a good thing, but sometimes goal setting and trading can actually push you backwards and keep you from your success. We'll dig into that in a little bit. So the first point to talk about is going to be different types of goal setting. What should you be setting your goals for? Now, in trading, obviously, the first natural thought of what you should set your goals towards is probably going to be profit goals. So you want to make 1% a day, 5% a week, 20% a month, something like this. Now, first of all, it is OK to set profit goals, but you need to kind of whittle it down and simplify it a bit. You can't really be setting goals for a daily basis because you're never going to hit a daily target every single day. OK, so, for example, I would totally cut out daily goals. I would personally also cut out weekly goals because variance in trading can happen and actually can lead us to, you know, maybe have a losing week or a break even week or a week where we don't hit our target pretty often. So for me, the best goals to have in terms of profit percentages and profit targets are going to be monthly, quarterly and yearly targets. You need to go for something that's realistic and achievable. So I would say, for example, rather than going for a crazy 1% a day, 50% a month, which is not going to happen, unfortunately, unless you over leverage like crazy, in which case, even if you do hit 50%, 100% months, you're going to have a minus 100% month that's going to take all of your money away from you. So for me, I would say the best thing to do is target potentially risk reward targets. So your goal could be I want to make 10 off this month. So if you risk half percent, that would be 5% profit. If you risk 1%, that would be 1% profit. Uh, and you could say maybe at the end of a quarter, I want to be up. 20%, 30%, you know, that's three months of trading. You can give yourself a realistic target for that as opposed to going for this crazy, uh, you know, huge monthly or weekly or daily gain. Um, yearly targets you could go for, you know, I don't know. I would generally not really put a profit percentage target on a year. I would just look at your overall improvements as a whole. So you'd be looking at things like how much funding did you secure? How much did you grow your accounts? How well did you follow your systems? How successful was your year from start to finish? Uh, generally, the kind of end of year, rather than placing a target, I would more so be reviewing my work and seeing how close I came to actually succeeding at that. So really, for me, targets are going to be very loose, very brief, and they're just going to be something to push towards each month. Um, the thing with a target is if you have a realistic target, like, for example, making between five to eight percent a month, when you achieve that, then, you know, you can tone down your trading, not risk everything you've made so far, and you don't really have to push yourself and stress to make more money. You've hit your target. It's something you can achieve very regularly as well, as opposed to, you know, 20% a month. If you're risking 1%, that's going to be hard to hit. And if you do hit it, uh, you're happy days. But if you don't hit it, which is probably going to happen most months, uh, you're going to be quite disappointed. So I would say, you know, go for anywhere from 5 to 10% a month as a goal for your monthly targets. Totally get rid of those daily targets and those weekly targets because they're going to stress you out too much. Take you, you know, force you to take bad trades that you really don't need to be taking. Uh, and generally are not going to be a positive thing for your trading. So I would say, you know, monthly and quarterly targets are probably where it's at. Uh, yearly, you just review it at the end, see how well you did in terms of, you know, the broader picture, not just the percentages. Um, and that is all I would say for actual profit percentage goal setting. Now, the more important goal setting you should be doing in trading, in my opinion, is achievements, right? You want to hit achievements. You want to continue progressing slowly. Treat it like a marathon uh, and your goal should be, you know, at each checkpoint of the marathon, and that is where you are, of course, going to you know, set your goals up. So let's say you are a brand new trader. Uh, you've just found out about trading. You've just started learning. You have very small foot, you know, capital to trade with. You're trading with, let's say, $100. Now, if you're trading with $100, um, it's not going to do a whole lot, to be honest. It's good for practicing, 
but your goals may be, okay, first of all, I want to learn the skill set. So I want to have, for example, uh, you know, some demo results, profitability within six months. So you'd set yourself a date in six months time, you want to be seeing some profitability on a demo account. Uh, first of all, before even that, you might want to put a goal on building a trading system, or most likely if you are a new trader, learning a trading system from someone else. So you might say, okay, within three months, I want to find someone who's going to teach me a good system. Uh, I want to develop the system over the next three months from there. And in six months time, I want to see some good demo profitability. You could then say in another three months time, I want to apply for a funding challenge. And hopefully by the end of the year, I will have $10,000 in funding. So these are actionable goals as opposed to percentage goals where we don't really have control over our results. Um, as long as we follow our system, you know, the percentages can be anything. They may vary. We may have an amazing month. We may have a bad month. So really percentage goals, um, while they will, of course, reflect a well-defined system, they're not going to be like something actionable. OK, all you do to hit percentage goals is trade your plan and then the percentage goals will either get hit or they won't. Um, in terms of actionable goals, so things like, you know, securing funding, learning a system, improving your trading, improving your psychology, uh, you know, making sure your risk reward is on point, making sure you, you know, you get to grips with all that. These are the actionable goals that are going to set you apart, help you to progress um, kind of subliminally as well. You'll see progression happening without realizing. And then these things over time will lead you to be a better trader. So if I were you, I'd be focusing on setting the goals in that kind of light, um, setting things for achievements that you want to reach. So if you're a new trader, you'd be looking to learn a system and then test the system on demo and then get funded. If you're a bit more experienced, you may have goals on actually getting yourself funded by a certain date, by a certain time in the year, uh, or you may have goals to increase your funding. So if you're already a funded trader, maybe you want to get, you know, for example, $300,000 in funding or $600,000 in funding, as opposed to the current 50,000 that you have now. So you could set a goal of by the end of the year, I want to try and get $100,000 in funding. Uh, so I'll double up my 50,000 to 100. Uh, and by the end of you know next year, I want to be at the full max allocation of 400,000, 600,000, whatever it may be with the funding company that you use. If you're trading personal funds, you would obviously target this in a way that, okay, I want to build my personal training account by, for example, $10,000 this year. So whether that would be from progressive compounded growth, or from you know allocating some of your money from jobs or work or whatever you do savings you want to you know increase your trading account by that size now obviously this is going to be going in a good way because if you're increasing your trading account to do that you need to work hard and also trade well uh, otherwise you're obviously going to be decreasing your trading account so these are subliminal targets and achievements that are going to push you in the right direction in a broader way than actually setting a percentage goal so Rather than saying, I want to make 100% profit this year, you could say, I want to increase my trading account. I want to increase my funding. To increase your funding, you have to trade well. To increase your trading capital in your personal accounts, you have to trade well. So subliminally, you're probably going to hit those percentage targets that you're looking at, as long as they are realistic, without actually pushing yourself to hit those percentages. Because the human mind works in funny ways. And if we do set ourselves percentage targets, we are not going to stop till we hit them. Uh, and you know, this can be bad because obviously if you're 2% away from your monthly target and you're thinking I have to make this 2%, you're probably going to fire away all of the profits you made and end up back to zero. So to recap on what we've said then, what are the types of goals you should be setting? Now, percentage targets are fine, but I would be putting percentage targets on a monthly and quarterly basis, definitely not on a weekly and most certainly not on a daily basis. Past this, I would put most of your focus on goals and goal setting towards, uh, you know, valuable subliminal targets that you want to achieve in your work. So you want to grow your trading accounts. You want to refine your system. You want to get all risk management, all psychology and all technical systems down. So you're feeling comfortable and confident executing those consistently. Uh, and the next thing is, you know, things like you want to achieve more funding, grow your personal capital and become a better trader overall. These subliminal goals are what's going to lead you to become better because you have to work towards them by trading well. So trading well is gonna obviously bring you more profits uh, and as well as bringing you more profits, it's also going to lead into long-term progression. So that is all for this video. I just wanted to sit down and talk about goal setting. When done well, it can be really good. When done poorly, it can be really bad. So make sure you're setting the right goals. Um, have a moment to think about everything I've said in this video. Make sure you're setting the right goals for you and not setting some crazy high percentage gain targets that you probably can't hit. And stop putting all your effort into immediate money making and put your effort instead into long-term achievement and long-term growth as a trader. 
If you've enjoyed this psychology based video, I'm going to be doing one of these every single week on a Wednesday. I'm really ramping up the content now. We have a podcast as well, posted the first episode of that yesterday on YouTube. So head over to that. Uh, put the link in the description for that as well if you want to. Definitely worth checking out. We talked about building a trading system. There's a lot of value there. And there's also an educational video chart focused coming on Friday. So hope you're enjoying the content. Hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, please do subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Now, if you want to improve your skills as a trader, trade alongside myself and over 800 students, many of whom are funded and achieving very nice, consistent profits on their accounts, head over to the link in the description. You can join my trading academy. There's over 30 hours of high quality, valuable video in there. And then you also get personal access to me if you need chart analysis, questions answered, any of that, and access to the private group here where we're all discussing trades every single day. If that sounds good to you, head over there and I'll see you inside.